In this video, we're going to show you how to make a Minecraft server in 2022. We're going to go over every single step of how to set the server up, and then we're going to give you the resources to allow your friends to join. We're going to go over how you can add plugins to your server. All of that, it's going to be covered in this video. We're even going to link out to a place where you can go if you've tried to start a server in the past and it's just broken. It's just not working. You need to fix it. We have resources for everything in this video. First one most though, the easiest way to start a Minecraft server in under five minutes is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server in 2022 on any version of Minecraft that you want. You can have plugins to these servers. You can add mods to these servers. It can all be done at Apex and it's the quickest and easiest way possible. At Apex, you literally just select your server, get it set up, and then you get an IP to join. That's it. You don't have to do any of the other hard work. Apex also has 24 hours, 70 a week support that can help you out if you do have issues. But nevertheless, you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your Minecraft server. It's 24 hours. It's amazing. It's everything you want in a server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. No less though, what if you don't want to buy a server, you want to start one for free yourself? Well, we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Let's jump right on into it. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is actually our website, and the reason we're linking out to here is twofold. One, it allows you to make sure you're getting the correct link. Two, it's always going to be up to date. So right now we're making this video at the beginning of 2022. At the end of 2022, Minecraft 1.18 is not going to be the most recent version. It might be Minecraft 1.20. It might be Minecraft 1.21 for all we know. And because of that, we want to make sure that you always have the most up-to-date information. So if something does change and you go through this tutorial, it's not working. Well, guess what? Our website, this link in the description, will always be up-to-date to the most recent version of Minecraft. Literally the day a version comes out, this tutorial tutorial always gets updated, guaranteed. So because of that, that's why we link out here, and this is the second link down below. It's download the server files, or download the Minecraft server files. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on this green download Minecraft button. When you click on that, it's going to take you to Minecraft's official website, where we want to click on this download Minecraft underscore server 1.18.1.jar link right here, right? I'm going to go ahead and select that. Once we have in the bottom left, the server.jar will start downloading. You may need to keep this file or save this file depending on your browser, and it's 100% safe to do so. This is on Minecraft.net where you're downloading this from, and that means if you downloaded Minecraft before, you have downloaded something from this website. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And we need to get the file we downloaded to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. And if you're on Windows 11, it's in the center of your screen. Click on that window, little Windows icon in the center of your screen on Windows 11, bottom left on Windows 10. And then you want to search Downloads. You have this Downloads File folder here. Select this, and it will open up your Downloads folder where you'll have this server file. Now, yours may not be called server.jar. It may not even have the correct little Java icon there. If that's the case, that's OK. Just drag and drop it to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you want to create a new folder. So right click, create a new folder, and then you can title this wherever you want. I'm going to title it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's actually our public Minecraft 1.18.1 server. And guess what? That's actually our public Minecraft server that's got survival and skyblock, always on the newest version. Absolutely incredible. So you should come play on it. If you just want to play with your friends, like simply on like a survival or skyblock server, play on Breakdown Craft. It's amazing. Now let's just go ahead, once you've got that file created, and drag and drop the server.jar into this folder we made, right? Oh, that we both selected. <laughs> drag and drop the server.jar into that folder we created. Now open up your folder here, and this is your server directory, right? This is where all of your server files are going to live. Once you're in here, you want to go ahead and right click and create a new text document, right? So new text document. Now at this point, it should be new text doc or new text document dot txt is what it should be named. You can leave it that. Now if you don't see dot txt, we need to fix that because that's the same reason you don't see dot jar after your server file. To fix that, you want to come up here to view and then you want to make sure file name extensions is checked. As you can see, I unchecked it and suddenly dot txt, it's gone. Server, it's like dot jar, it's gone. The dot jar is not there. It's just server. So you want to come up here to the top, select view and then click on file name extensions. Now, if you don't have file name extensions here, you might need to go to options over here on the right hand side and then go into view. When you do that, you want to scroll down until you see hide extensions for known file types, right? So right here, hide extensions for known file types. You want to make sure that's unchecked, actually. So hide extensions for known file types is unchecked or the easiest way to do this is going to be go to view and then file name extensions. Make sure that is checked. Nevertheless, once you've done that, we can open up the new text document and in the description down below, just open this with notepad, by the way, in the description down below, there is going to be this code right here. Go to the description, copy it, and paste it in here. It should look exactly like this once you're done. Basically, this means that you're running a Java server, which is correct. It's a jar or Java file. This is how much RAM your server has, right? 
by default, 2048 megabytes is two gigabytes. If you wanted to up this to three gigabytes, for example, you could change this to three, and that's gonna be roughly three gigabytes. If you wanna change it to four, you would change it to 4,000 megabytes, right like so. By default though, we're gonna stick with two gigabytes. That should be good for most people starting out. It is a jar file, right? So it's opening with Java, it's a jar file, and then it's a server.jar. Now, this is going to be the same as the file back here. So server.jar, it's there, guess what? It's good to have server.jar there. If you were starting a paper server though, we'll talk about paper here in a minute, but if you were to start a paper server, it would actually need to be like paper.jar, paper-version.jar, whatever it is, right? And then no GUI means you're not gonna be opening up the Minecraft server GUI. You can delete that if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Then pause just means if you have an issue, it's going to pause the console instead of close it. Finally, we can go file, save here. So file, save, and then close out of the new text document. Then we wanna right click on this new text document and click rename. Then we wanna select everything where there's nothing in this box at all, even delete.txt. Then we wanna rename this to run.bat. So run.bat exactly like that. Then when we click off of it, we're gonna get this warning saying if you change the file name extension, the file may become unusable. It's not going to, we wanna do that. So we wanna go ahead and click yes here and change that. Now we have a file named run.bat, but most importantly, the type is Windows batch file. If it's not, just just rename it, making sure you delete the .txt and then confirm that you do want to change the file type. Finally, we should be able to double click on run.bat here and it's going to go ahead and try to start our server. It is going to fail though. That's because we've not agreed to the EULA. So there we go. As you can see, you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server and it's failed. So we can press any key to continue and close out of this CMD. Now, if you did have issues here, it's probably because you don't have the correct version of Java installed. Currently, at the time I'm recording this, you need Java 17 to run Minecraft servers. I don't necessarily see that changing, but if you do need a newer version of Java, guess what? The link in the description down below on how to download Java, or just, I think it's download Java, is going to be up to date. That's what this link currently looks like, but guess what? If it says Java 18 or Java 47 up here at the top, it's correct. And that's the version you now need to run a Minecraft server. That's what I love about our links and the resources we've created is it's always going to work even if you're watching this at the end of the year. So nevertheless, while I'm recording this, if you, for whatever reason, can't open up that run.bat file, it doesn't work. You don't get the eway.txt. You need to download and run Java. It's very simple. This tutorial walks you through everything. Now, most of the time, that's going to allow you to double click on that run.bat file, and it's going to work. But in some cases, it won't. And in those cases, you need to run the jar fix. This is also linked in the description down below, and this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work correctly. Nevertheless, though, we can now minimize our browser, and we can open up this eula.txt. So just double click on eola.txt to open it with notepad, right like so. Then you want to go to this link right here. And if you agree to it, come back and change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. You need to make sure eula equals true is all one string, exactly like so. And then go file, save. Once you've done that, we can double click on the run.bat file and your Minecraft server is going to fire up. It's going to work, right? At this point, you are good to go. Let me go ahead and kind of like move this around and make it look... Uh, a little better. There we go. As you can see, it is loading resources, loading advancements, things like that. And very quickly here, it's going to start generating the world, preparing world. There we go. So now the server is starting up. I'm going to show you how you can join your server, but it's not going to be how your friends join your server. In order for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. And luckily in the description down below, we do have an in-depth guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server. Go through this tutorial if you want your friends to join. It's linked down below and it has helped nearly half a million people at this point port forward for Minecraft. It even shows you a few different routers and things like that and how to port forward on an array of different ones and the terms to look for. It goes everything over everything in depth and is great, great, great for you to use if you want to port forward your server and allow your friends to join. Nevertheless, though, we can now go ahead and join this server. To do that, we need to open up Minecraft. So let me do a jump cut real fast. I'll open up Minecraft and meet you in game. So here we are. Our server is started. As you can see, it says done there. When it says done, the server is started. You're good to go. And Minecraft is open. To join the server, we want to click on multiplayer and then click on direct connection. Now, you're the only person that can join your server this way. Your friends, people like that are going to use your public IP address, which they can only do after you port forward. That's why that port forward tutorial in the description is so important. Nevertheless, for your server address here, we just want to change this to a local host. That's the IP that you can join your server with. Just type in local host here and click join server. When you do, it's going to Join right on in, right like so. As you can see on the left-hand side, next games, that is my username. And uh, guess what? Here we are in game. I've uh, got 30 FOV because it takes amazing screenshots. But nevertheless, here we are in game looking good. Now, if you can't join off of local host, 
that's very unlikely, but you might need to get your IPv4 address, which guess what? You do in that port forward tutorial, and you'll be able to join off of your IPv4. So nevertheless, go through that tutorial if you want to allow your friends to join. And if you do have any issues or anything like that with starting a server, that is why we have the link in the description on how to fix a broken Minecraft server. This is a 21-minute video that goes through all of the potential issues that you could have when starting a server. A lot of them we try to solve in tutorials like this just by doing them. But if you do have any issues, additional ones, you can come here and go through this tutorial. It's going to show you everything you need to know to get your server basically fixed after you have set it up and it's not working. But what if you want plugins on your server? Well, that's where paper comes in. And in the description down below, we do have a paper tutorial linked, our paper guide this guide here actually and just like our other tutorials it is always up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft so if you do want to add plugins to your server you will need a paper MC server and this tutorial goes through exactly how to get that every single step and then how to add plugins as well and last but not least there's also a link in the description down below on how to make a modded server that goes through everything you need to know to add mods to your server unfortunately there are three types of servers there's a vanilla server that means it doesn't have mods or plugins there's a paper server that's going to be a server with plugins on it so paper allows you to have plugins and then last but not least is a modded server that's most likely going to be Forge. You cannot have mods and plugins together. You have to choose one or the other. Nevertheless, though, that is how to make a Minecraft server in 2022. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content throughout this year. We do tons of server tutorials, mod tutorials, all sorts of stuff like that. You will absolutely love it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Wow, that's crazy. And I am out. Peace.